Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Angitan Brick Show. Today, I have a discussion video regarding Lego Disney. Lego, the 100 Years of Disney is happening this year. They're going to do, uh, how many sets do we have so far? Like, probably like five sets that have been kind of being thrown around. I bet there's going to be more because, I mean, I'm kind of figuring a wave maybe during the summer. I don't know. I haven't gotten any rumor or confirmation or anything like that about that at the time of this recording. So maybe there was. I don't know. But, um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm figuring they're going to do some more 100 Years of Disney sets. But so far, we have a couple. There's like a Disney, a four plus Disney train. They have uh, an, a house from Up. They have Peter Pan. They got a, uh, uh, nothing else that I can think of. Well, I know there's like a Maleficent dragon and like a um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves house. But I don't know if that's this year or next year. Just judging or based off the the rumors when that stuff was all happening or going down. Um, I don't remember if that was supposed to be for this year or next year. Anyways, regardless, they're going to be doing Disney sets. So now I decided I'd make a small little list here of some Disney properties. I'd love to see get some sets or a set for 100 years of Disney. Because they kind of seem to be doing like one set per property. Um, which I'm totally cool with. I loved, I love that. And here are just a couple of franchises or properties that I would absolutely love to see be made into a actual Lego set for the 100 Years of Disney. So starting off with, you know, the first one on the list here is Monsters, Inc. I mean, I think everybody can agree here that a Monsters, Inc. Lego set would just be spectacular. It would be amazing. Um, I was personally thinking it would be like around like 60 bucks maybe. And it would come with Mike Wazowski. It would come with Sully, of course. It would come with Boo. And probably Randall, just kind of, you know, four solid figures there. I think that's probably good. I mean, they could maybe include, um, what's his name, like Water Noose or whatever his name is. Um, from It was a, kind of like the main villain of Monsters, Inc. They could probably include him as well. But I don't know if he's as, as recognizable as like Randall as the villain kind of of the set. Um, and for the builds, I was kind of maybe, I, I was thinking it would be like a playset build where with like some of the um, Monsters, Inc. kind of... Uh, paneling stuff on the floor and then you could have like the doors kind of going by and stuff and like a play feature where you could kind of like cycle through different doors and stuff i don't exactly know how it would work or what the build exactly would be but i think they could probably make definitely come up with something really simple and make it like a solid like 60 bucks maybe even more i don't know and just have like four figures i think 60 is a pretty good price set for a monsters inc set i mean that's what i believe what the price is of the uh up set that is supposedly coming out uh, I don't know exactly when, but the upset that's supposedly, supposedly coming out is, I think, is around sixty or rumored to be sixty dollars. Um, but then again, those prices might go up just because of the recent price increase, and maybe those rumors weren't really um, uh, the the same as that price increase. It wasn't uh, representing that price increase. But anyways, Monsters Inc. set sixty bucks. Mike Wazowski, Sully, Boo, Randall, and some sort of Monsters Inc. build. But I think it'd be amazing. I would love to see one of those next set is um i think we're on here i would love to see a wally set but considering they already did one which was the lego ideas like giant wally build which is a cool set i never got it but it was a pretty cool looking set um i think that they could probably figure out something i don't know exactly what they would do maybe like a mini or not a miniature scale but like a smaller scale version of the axiom that can just kind of rest on a uh um kind of rest on a, uh, like a like a stand or something like that, and just kind of like a miniature, maybe I guess a miniature model version, kind of like the Nebulon B frigate from Star Wars, I think it was, that was kind of like a, a special kind of promotional set or something like that, and it was just kind of like a miniature build version of it that kind of rested on a stand, kind of similar to that, but it would be the Axiom from Wally, come with like a little Wally figure build, come with uh, Eve, maybe come with the Captain and like a couple other people maybe, or actually that's kind of all you really need, huh? Maybe like the wheel, the steering wheel, the villain, the steering wheel, or Mo. Please give me Mo. Love Mo. Have him just kind of be like the um, BD1 model figure, um, or mold rather. Anyways, there, there's, there's some stuff you could do there, and then make it like 40 bucks or something like that. You're, you're really paying for the figures in this set, but anyways, they already made a giant Wally set. They're also making brickheads for Wally, which they're cool, but I'm not going to get them. Um, so I don't know exactly what they would do, but some sort of Wally set where you can actually get like a Wally quote unquote figure like minifigure even though it would probably be like a smaller build i think it'd work really well next is a oh a return to pirates of the caribbean now i always admired the pirates of the caribbean wave but i think i was too young to really get involved in getting the sets 
I think I maybe got one or two of the Lego sets, the pirate sets. Um, but I feel like with Lego remaking Indiana Jones, with Lego remaking Lord of the Rings, there's definitely a possibility that pirates could come back if it's popular enough. They, the only reason, the only hesitation I feel like is um, the whole Johnny Depp kind of situation. Maybe like, because it seems like they're not going to make any more pirates movies. And then, then again, they're making one more Indiana Jones movie, but I don't think that really had as much um, stuff, I guess, behind it rather, compared to like the whole Johnny Depp stuff um, with Amber Heard and things like that. But that may be the only reason why they wouldn't do a Pirates, like a Return to the Pirates theme. So uh, if that's not happening, I would hope for like maybe like a Pirates of the Caribbean set just to go along with this 100 years of Disney. Um Maybe like some sort of remake of the Black Pearl set or something. Maybe like two hundred bucks. Make it like this giant boat build, and I don't know. Just just kind of a thought to throw out there because of hundred years of Disney. Because Pirates is a Disney property, so I would love to see it get some representation, but might be a little difficult to do. Might be a little bit di difficult to do. Regardless, would love to see one. Um, so hopefully that does end up happening. But you know, we'll have to see. Next set, kind of like the final set on the list here. I only wanted to do a couple. I might make this video too long, and that is. A Nightmare Before Christmas set. I have been advocating for this for a little while, I think. I don't know if I ever really vocalized it on the channel, but I want a Nightmare Before Christmas set so bad. I know they made a Jack Skellington and Sally minifigures for a uh, minifigure series, that did one of the Disney minifigure series, but I don't want those. I want a Nightmare Before Christmas Lego set. Per and here's the idea. Obviously, it would come with Jack, come with Sally, come with Zero, you know, Zero the dog, and the build would be like the swirly Tim Burton-y style hill that Jack is on. And like they have it in like the promote and like the posters for the movie and stuff. Like perfect, perfect thing. Maybe you can even make it a diorama set that could also work. You know, kind of have it like like the, the diorama style. You know, have like this like landscape kind of building up to this giant hill. The t Again, the Tim Burton-y swirly hill. Um, and then just have it with the three minifigures there, make it like a hundred bucks. Like it, it would just be amazing. I would buy that set up. It would be so good. Would, I would definitely want that to happen. Please Lego make that happen. Um, and then one more little thing on here. This is me like really, really stretching for this kind of idea here. And that is technically with the Fox Disney deal. Um, fantastic. Mr. Fox, which is my personal favorite movie of all time is kind of like a Disney movie sort of somewhat not really though not really it's on disney plus so you know there's that um and could it be considered like a disney movie and maybe kind of get a set i'm mostly kidding when i'm talking about this because i don't think this could ever happen but point is i'm just kind of throwing it out there if they would ever make a lego fantastic mr fox set just know i will get it day one for sure that would be that's a dream come true lego and my favorite movie mixed oh my god Dream come true. Anyways, yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. Just wanted to throw that out there. It's kind of like a joke at the end here, but if it ever did happen, I'm going to be like the first customer to go get it. Anyways, um, yeah, there you have it. That is my list of kind of like some Disney properties, some Disney set ideas that I'd love to see become actual Lego sets in the future, hopefully. Uh, I don't think it will ever happen with some of these, but, you know, there's, there's always the hope, I guess. Anyways, um, if you enjoy the video, do the comment YouTube stuff, like, comment, subscribe, of course, and I'll see you guys later.